Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPV, doing a real short video here for a customer who was asking about the uh, FreeSky dongle, the wireless dongle that you can use in your computer so that you can play Sims, you know, and you can connect wirelessly. Uh, and then the update that's needed for it in order to work because some people have already upgraded to their uh, internal module to 2.1.0. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this real quickly. Uh, so let me do a screen picture in picture here. Sorry, my desk is a mess. This is in the middle of a build. I'm stopping to do this. So I had to just kind of move everything out of the way. Uh, but let's get going here, shall we? So the first thing we want to do is um, this isn't going to really discuss how to put the stuff on the on the memory stick uh, of your radio. We kind of already need to know how to do that part. I've got videos on that. Uh, but a real quick Welcome way to do to it is TN. if you've got your um, and I will share the computer screen here right now. So let me just do it like this. So if you've got your radio and you've got your USB cable, uh, you can easily just um, turn your radio on, plug your USB cable in. Uh, hold on, let me get that lined up right. There we go. I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. And on your screen, you're going to see an option here for joystick. Here, let me make that bigger. You see an option here for joystick or USB storage. So click USB storage. Okay. And then what will happen is on your computer, you will start seeing it pop up uh, where uh, in just a minute you will see it populate with your um, memory card uh, coming in. Okay. So that's if you if you don't want to go through the OpenTX, you want to put the file on that we're going to need to do this update, all right? So here's what we're going to do next, is while we're waiting for that to populate, we're going to go to the FreeSky website. So let's go to uh, www. Okay, there's my SD card, by the way. My SD card contents are right here. So it's populated now. I'm going to minimize that. So we're going to go to FRSKY. It should be populating. There it is. Okay, so the radio itself, I have the firmware. Let me get these things. I don't know what happened here. There we go. I don't have my uh, sub trims even. I would explain why I was flying like crazy yesterday. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go to our products, and or you can just come up here and you can type in, um, uh, go to your search, and then just type in a USB dongle, and that should populate here, and then you will get the page right here, the XSR SIM, or you can go to this one, whichever one. Uh, let's go that one. I'll probably put a link to this also on our website under this product. Um, so that's not helping me at all, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go to right here. We'll put a link because this is kind of a pain to get to. All right. So we want to go to our download, right? When we go to our downloads, um, you're going to have two options. You've got your manual and you've got your firmware. So um, you want to make sure that you're not on uh, version 2.0.1. So if your radio does have... 2.1.0 and you're not able to connect to this out of the box uh, you can't connect to the receiver because it doesn't come with 2.1.0 not the not the versions that were shipped out before march 24th then you need to load that okay so what i'm gonna do first is i've got 2.1.0 firmware for my radio on here so i'm just going to go ahead and update my radio real quick um, now if you don't have 2.1.0 on your radio and you just want to update the firmware uh, the older firmware you can go right here all right uh, but let's go ahead and just look at my radio real quick I'm going to hold my menu button down. Uh, oh, I'm in, I'm in USB, so hold on a second. First, let me download this 2.1.0. So I'm going to click download here. All right. And that will be in my downloads folder, so I'll just say show in folder. And there it is. I'm going to extract it. Okay. There's my folder of, with the files, and I'm not going to be using the this – is for, this is for the EU version. This is for the uh, uh, FCC version. Uh, I'm going to delete the EU version because we're not going to use that here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to copy this folder that's been extracted and I'm going to go to my um, uh, SD card that has my, uh, right here, that has my uh, firmware folder on it for the radio. I'm going to double click that and go to my RX folder and I'm going to paste my um, uh, data here for the SIM update. Okay. Now that it's on my USB drive, I'm on my SD card, I'm going to just safely disconnect. So let me do a eject here, and then let me do another one, eject here. All right, so we're good to go there. So I'm going to unplug, and now we can just go straight to working on this. All right, so we've got the firmware here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my radio first. I don't know why this keeps changing. Let me go ahead and put that on that. This is just because I don't. There we go. All right, so I'm going to hold my menu button down. I'm going to hit page one time and go to firmware, and then I'm gonna first upgrade my radio. So I'm assuming, I know the customer said he upgraded his to 2.1.0, so I'm gonna do that on here. So I'm gonna to go to the FreeSky TX firmware folder that I have, and then the ISRM, and we're gonna to go to right here. 
X9 light ISRM 2.1.0. So this is assuming you've already done this. We're going to hold this down and we're going to say the flash the internal module. Okay. Now while that's flashing the radio so I can get this to 2.1.0, I'm going to show you how to do this here. Okay. Again, we're going to go back to the uh, screen with the FreeSky website. And above this firmware was the download for the manual. And I'm going to show you what the manual shows you real quick. Okay. The manual shows you the pin layout when you want to plug these in. So you see this right here. Let me see if I can just zoom in. All right. So here's the pin layout, right? Uh, and you can see right here, if you hold this dongle, and I'll, I'll do the split screen uh, with the manual and the dongle instead. There we go. All right. So you're going to see this little piece on here first. It's like this little plastic piece. It sits on like that, right? You need to take this cover off. So I just take this piece off, and then I just somehow wet your finger in there and pull this apart. Okay, there you go. The way the manual looks, you want this to be with the USB port to your left and the bind button facing you at the bottom. That means you got these four holes at the top, okay? Based on the drawing, and you have your cable here, the, the drawing says that we're going to go, if you start from the left, you're going to go ground first, then you're going to go uh, power, and then you're going to go with your S port. And if you start from left to right with counting from one to four for the holes, pin one or hole one is not used at all. So two is ground, three is five volt or power, and then four is S port. All right. Now you can hold it just like this, and all those are making connection, and they're not touching each other. So I always invert them, right? So I'll do, let me show you. So I'll do something like this, right? Uh, where I'll have it, I'll just have them skip. That way they don't touch. There's always a gap in between. So one's coming from the top, the other one from the bottom, the next one from the top again. All right, now let me zoom out and show you how this is going to work. So as my radio is updating, we're almost done, right? So let me go here. Okay, as soon as this is done, we're going to go to updating our USB. And remember, do it with the USB port facing you and the bind button facing you. That way your orientation to the manual is right. And pin one is not used, two is ground, three is power, four is S port. And we've got about, oh, I don't know, a second or so, a few seconds left, and we'll be ready to go, okay? And then we'll bind this real quick and show you how that it binds and we're good to go. <clears throat> now you do need the update cable uh, to do this um, pretty easy from your radio. All right, so here we go. So let's click OK. And we're going to get back. OK, now we're going to go ahead and plug our cable in. All right, and I believe it's going to go like this. I'm going to check for sure. I'll know when I go. And then I'm going to hold the menu button down. I'm going to hit page, and I'm going to go to my firmware folder again. And that's where, under RX, is where I put the XR SIM 2.1.0 firmware. Hit that, and I'm just going to hold this down, and it's going to say flash S port. We'll click yes, and I think if my, if my plug is in correctly, there it goes. So remember when you're plugging your wires in on your radio, you're going to start left is ground, middle is power, right is S port. Plug it in that way, and then run your wires this way, and you'll see it's updating. No problem. I believe you can use their um, USB tool also to upgrade it, but I haven't done that yet, uh, so I'll have to check. I mean, I'll run that test later. But this is just a test. Uh, you should always have the cable anyway to always do your updates, so you might as well just get one if you don't have one. They're a couple bucks. It's very easy. All right, so let that run real quickly, and then I'll plug that in, and uh, we'll make sure that it binds. As a matter of fact, let me go grab an extension cable. That way I can just show you. Uh, where is my extension cable? Alright, well I thought I had an extension cable but I don't see it, so we'll just power it up and make sure that it works. Hmm, I can use a, uh, I'll use one of these toolkit RCs. That should make it just as easy to do. I think that'll work, so let me try it, I'll try it on here real quick and see if we can at least demonstrate that it's going to buy. Alright, so our flashing is successful, just hit exit, get back, unplug. Pull the wires now obviously you'll put your case back on but for this demonstration i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show you that it's working so let me go ahead and plug in my toolkit rc sorry like i said i was in the middle of the build so i wasn't really my desk wasn't prepared for this but i figured this would take just a minute to do all right so let me go ahead and uh turn this on okay 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go to a model, so I'll just make, I'll make a new model. So let me just, uh, let me do a uh, copy. I'll just go all the way to the bottom here because I don't want to mess with anything else. So let me just put this as the last one. Okay, I'll copy it there, and then I'm gonna hold that, select it. Throttle warning. Yeah, yeah. Switch warning. Okay, then I'll hit page, get in there, and I'll just make this the dongle. So let me see. forever e all right so there's our dongle and then what we're going to do is this is uh model 60 so i'm going to run this all the way to so it says 60 that way it stays in line all right now let me see what i've got here why isn't my screen showing me anything oh that's not going to help me at all that's awesome let me see if i can find another one Really great. What happened to my uh, my screen here? Okay, there we go. All right, so let's just try this real quickly. See if I can get this on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, hold my bind button down, and I'm going to plug this in. And you can see where I have the red and green lights now. They're solid. So if you look at that there, it's in binding mode, ready to go. So I'm going to go to my radio here, and I've got <coughs> I've got it on my model here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main screen here so you can see when I hit menu. I'm at model 60 on my radio. Okay, let me move this over a little bit. So uh, when I go in there, I'm going to hit page. I'm going to scroll backwards there. And I'm going to change my receiver number to 60, which it is. I'm going to make sure that I'm on ACC STD 16. I'm going to hit bind. And I'm going to go to 9 through 16 telemetry off. And there you go. You see it's blinking right now. Everything's looking good. So when I stop it, I uh, hit exit, go all the way back, remove I can just power off my uh, Toolkit RC real quick. And then when I power back on, we should go to a solid green light, which we did. And now we're bound. Okay? Uh, so there you go. That's it. And once you're good to go like that, you can plug this into your computer. And now you've got a wireless SIM. Okay? All right, guys. Real quick video on that one. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, join our Facebook group there. Uh, there's the address below. And then please follow us on Facebook. That always helps as well. And then, as always, you always know I ask, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Other than that, God bless. Be safe. Go ahead and have fun with your family. Go spend some time. we got some nice weather out here. Make the most of it, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it with your kids, your family, whoever, and you've always got time to fly later. All right, other than that, talk to you soon. Peace.